Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in the start of a new campaign in one of my favorite mods, Old World Blues. So right now, as you might be able to tell from the thumbnail, or even the title, we're going to play as a certain nation, a certain dancing nation, like normal custom game rules. It's going to be ahistorical, I don't know what's going to happen, I'm going to keep completely leave it up to randomness for what everyone wants to do. So, let's just get right on into it. So... This campaign is probably going to be one of my most difficult because I want to go pretty much full cannibalism. I'm going to try it. And it's taking forever loading those rusty graphics. Come on. Ah, there we go. So, like I said, I want to try to go full cannibalism. The question of cannibalism, the blood cult, which does give you plus 10% recruitable population factor. Uh, the national spirit that it's referring to already gives us minus 20%. So that 10% does help, but later down on this blood cult, you basically lose that extra 10%. There's 2% there you lose, another 2%, another 2%, which is 6%, and then 4%, which makes it 10%, which makes it back to the original amount that you already don't have. But we're going to try it anyways, because why not? So... Future Tech Gak Research Facility. The Bone Dancers were formed through an old PMC basing itself out in Eastern Oregon. So how am I going to do this? I have to conserve manpower as much as possible. We only have four divisions led by a guy. Great Chief Shatterhand. So be it. He is S, he is E, he is strong, he's enduring, which is not bad. Um, Definitely, I want Cannibal. Experience Soldier's Losses. I might go with Life Giver as well, but he's a Field Marshal, so I have to supply more attack. I'm probably going to maximize my attack as much as possible, and I'm going to go ahead and plop you guys right on that line with the Timber Line. Next up, we've only three research slots, but something that's going to be extremely important, uh, this stuff. Healing Powder, obviously it's a year ahead of time, we can't do it yet, that's okay. Get some output, get some construction stuff, and grab some Ohm's Law for more research speed. Uh, reinforcements on max, upgrades on low, bone shakers, I want to make two of you at a time, if possible, or, you know what, how about not, two, one, and we have psychers, special forces, which I do want to use special forces early on, I'm going to try to use them appropriately, so, civilian factories, always great to have, we can't really build too much in here, so, and three dockyards, make uno canoe and some convoys, do that, go to sylvie's, Silver, Sylvies. We got pipe guns. We're gonna need some dynamite, like normal. And then scout tribal kits. Oh, not you. And I want support companies, a support, some support equipment, but I definitely need guns, so do that. We'll make some support equipment soonish in time. But let us let time go on. We only have 617 manpower. Not good. Core population of 19,000, roughly 20,000, but the research facility. The Bone Dancers are the most feared of the cannibals in Oregon today, yet that was not always the case. Originally, they were just a hired group of mercs, a privately owned military contractor based out of Seattle known as Baron Internacional. Before the Great War, this company was hired by FutureTech, a subsidiary of vault uh, made to help fund the development of technologies designed to invigorate the wastes in the post-war landscape. Future Tech brought on Baron International to help keep the researchers safe during the riots that were brought about by the New Plague. After the Great War occurred, Baron International quickly took control of the situation, storming the facility and seizing control from the scientists there. They assumed that if they just held out long enough, help would arrive when the government eventually came for them. But they never came. Several decades later, and these mercs have turned their control of this facility into something like an iron grip. They were defending their small little corner of the waste from other raiders, settlers, and mutants though their training and policies against, through their po training and policies against outsiders. In their founding years, they had to fight off an odd series of groups, which one of them was the greatest, though. That's a nice little thing there. The Wendigo Horde for a lot more war support, which is kind of nice. The Rancher Raiders for more stability and war support. Or the Mutant re Remnants. Honestly, it's pretty hard to get war support in this mod. I want more war support. I think that'd be pretty good. Stability is always good to get, though. Always good to get. Uh, let's do both. The Rancher Raiders. Next up, a tattered mantle. We struggled, yet one came to help us. A man in rags. Uh, widespread cannibalism. This is going to be 
difficult. It's going to be really difficult. Before we do petty gain conscription, we're at 5%, 7%, 9, 11. We can get up to 15% conscription or recruitable population. That's not bad. We can basically triple what we have, but even then, that's pretty difficult. So, a tattered mantle. Prosperity wouldn't last forever for these survivalists. Whilst the training of their ancestors allowed them to fight off rival tribes with ease, eventually they were at an impasse. The lands themselves they were living in were dying, driven lifeless by the radiation blanketing the wastes. It was a slow, gradual process, but eventually something had to be done when starvation was killing off more of their rank than raids. In the late of night, a discussion was held. Ultimately, a decision was made as for what to do. The mercs tallied a vote, and when a small enough group was chosen, they simply pulled straws until one of them pulled the shortest. He was sent to Bone Dance. Uncover the secrets within the skeleton-filled ruins of the old Future Tech facility. This title would eventually fall onto the rest of the mercs, a way of honoring those that took the plunge to scrap dive into the seemingly cursed facility in the hopes of finding valuables and relics to help heal their dying lands. These Bone Dances would bear fruit from time to time, but time was dwindling for these bone dancers. It was only with the timely arrival of a strange robed figure from the south that their luck seemed to shift. This man, having lost his mind from some terrible experience, had more foresight and knowledge than any of the rest of them, radiation baking his body and making him ageless. The bone dancers called him the Odious King, and with his odd sense of foresight, Eventually, they were able to uncover a small selection of partially functioning gex that had been hiding in a deep shelter within the facility for ages. While this aid, or while the aid of this robed figure was most appreciated for the food he brought, it is debated how he was first treated when he arrived by the locals. What did they think of such a mysterious and strange figure? So we get a building slot and caps, two building slots, fewer caps, or how about no caps and three building slots? I like no, none of that. Uh, the Crimson Forest. The Crimson Forest is a blessing he gave us. A fertile land. And as you might be able to tell, there's a reason why I'm uh, facing this direction. Hmm. They don't have a lot of factories, but uh, I like them. The Crimson Forest. With these gex found by the Odysseus King, we were able to heal the lamb, yet not all was right. The machines themselves, through age, wear and corrosion had faltered somewhat. The biggest problem, though? Radiation leaking through into the seeds contained within the machine itself. Often the greenery built by the machines was strange, corrupted, and cruel. The fruit the trees bore was filling, yet it seemed to cause the mind to go to strange places. Eventually, these lands grown by these gecks were known as the Crimson Forest, the Scarlet Land of Confusion, Oddity, and Madness. As the madness of the Crimson Forest gripped the Bone Dancers, so did it change them too. Ritualized murder, cannibalism, and slavery began to dominate the culture of those that lived in the forest. This culture even spreading out as splinter groups of the Bone Dancers began to wander off to the west, such as the Carcass Walkers, Marrow Drinkers, and Rib Breakers. Near the future tech facility, a group of fanatics had begun to worship the Odysseus King as a god while allowing, or al while along the coast, a group of settlers from Heaven's Gate had begun to try to clear out the forest itself. The newest leader of the Bone Dancers will have to decide the best strategy for dealing with these differing groups. Caution, decisive action. Well, right now with our trade, we got enough scrap metal. Caps really don't do much for me though, so. Decisive action wins wars. Now we're opened up to the question of cannibalism, Holding down the fort, and or the Oregon Trails. I personally want to go down holding the fort. So, Cranium, Cranium has had some difficulties keeping the various groups within the Bone Dancers' ha land happy. Perhaps it's time to ensure that all is in order. That'll be good, and I'm waiting for more, uh... There you go, well tension. Justify immediately. Well, as when we can, because it's going to take a long time before we can get there, so... 1.16 political power a day. Not a ton, but it's not bad. We are getting more dynamite, which is good. And we definitely need more tribal scout kits. We're going to need a lot of dynamite, too. Just to warn everyone, we're going to need a lot of dynamite. Because manpower is precious. And the faster we can make enemies go kaboom while taking minimal losses ourselves, the better. Very good, very good, very good. Holding down the fort, that political power looks good to come in so handy. Incredibly handy. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. I'm taking these guys out first just because I need at least a few more factories. Three more military factories is a lot. That would almost double the amount of factories we have. Civilian factories are nice as well, but they're not extremely strong right now. They're on literally like disarmed. So that's really good. Holding down the fort though. Next up, Pilgrims of the Steam. 
I'm going to go ahead and do this just because I want to get to this Gek as fast as possible. So he who showed the way. The odious king is the one that showed us the way to live in this land. A ragged man with abilities strange and unusual. It is he who leads the Crimson Acolytes, his disciples on this hallowed earth. And now we have a little bit more political power. So with that, oh, maybe I should not have justified immediately. Because that would have saved 20% of the time. Oh well, whatever. Now, that being said, I'm going to go get Teddy Grady eventually. I want Raider Recruiter. But before we get into any war... Oh, Conventional Army. Oh, Joseph Brennan. Oh, what did I do earlier? I did try this a little bit earlier before I started playing this. What did I do first? I think that was probably one of the most important. Division attack. Uh, just give us... Because uh, after this, we our, one of our focuses allows us to go to War of the Shoshone. I think for the best, it is for us to lower what we use. A well-equipped army is probably the best. Now, let's see. Construction. Well, whatever. Because mm, we were on Wasteland Economy. Eh, I mean, it was okay. That was an okay choice for me to take. Probably wasn't, maybe not the best. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Good. We're not losing anything. Yeah, maybe I should have gotten that army XP guy. I should have gotten that army XP guy. Whatever. Happens. It only costs 100, so we'll get him soon. Construction basics are good. Ohm's Law is very good. Work is needed. It's going to be extremely important. Let's get woodworking. And let's go with the Land Doctrine Conventional Warfare because it gives us 5% more population, which we're desperately going to need. Desperately. And we're going to lose some stability. That's pretty normal. So soon enough, we'll be able to grab a military theorist. Oh, we want Joseph, because he gets us conventional warfare, which will be good. Which will be very, very good. Let's see, we got three days left. Good, good, good. Oh, we need another general, too. And there we go. He who showed us away. A melody so grand, or new rounds of initiation for more manpower in Crowshaven. Sure. Those who come before the Acolytes are shown their rose, a colored bath full of death. If they survive, they're allowed to join their dark ranks. Now after this, I'm not going to do the next one. I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and do question of cannibalism to get that political power. That's important. And let's grab a Joseph. Thank you very much, Joseph. A little bit more army XP goes a long way. We're about to get paid a little bit more. About 24, almost 25 caps. That's pretty good. I could expel the Rift Raft, but nah. So we are a civilized nation as the Bone Dancers. That's actually kind of cool. So we're civilized, which is good. We're not a ghoul civilization. We don't have Warhound platoons. Super mutant civilization. Oh, wow. Ooh. Auxiliaries, nightkins, schematics sound like fun. Buffs. New Canaan buffs. Can I get a buff eventually? Oh, Oregon buffs. Gecko support. Hmm, not bad. Mesmetron field equipment. No. Mentat stimulants. Sounds like fun. Nullification training sounds like a lot of fun, too. Definitely want to emphasize special forces. And ancient, tra ancient traditions is good. So, new rounds of initiation. Let's go with the question of cannibalism. For decades, cannibalism has been a big problem among the tribes of Oregon. It is our choice whether we attempt to move away from this practice or embrace it. And that is the wrong type of weather. This is not about the sky. This is about making a choice. Hmm. Grammar. Whatever. And we have about six people joining us a month after we eat a little bit of them because we have widespread cannibalism. Cranium? Looks like he has two craniums. Huh. Iron Alliance declare one withered dogs. And Troll Warren declare one carcass walkers. Uh, so, uh, what is, else is going on? I definitely don't want to lower local leaders just because I like that political power. I need as much political power as possible since we only have 46% stability right now. Uh, if that's the case, I don't need to really do much else here. I need more production though. I need these divisions out as fast as possible. Ooh. And you guys go ahead and train. Led by Tyrell the Mumbler. More damage, but less defense. Eh, that's not bad. That's kind of worth it. I need more stability. So we can produce more stuff. So let's go ahead and hurt our research speed for a little bit more stability every week. Ah, another division. Good. And I need an, an army general. Carlton Brody. Brody. Oh, why do I get these people? Who, leader experience gain minus 25% and less planning speed. Less recovery rate. More attack. More defense, more planning speed. Well, really, mo minus 5% planning speed. Minus 20% max planning. Minus 0.2 max entrenchment. Holy cow. I'm considering buying someone else now. 
Good. Question of cannibalism is done. We can't go any further, which is okay. So, a melody so grand. There they sing their melody, a dark tune to echo through the twin worlds. It is in this song where flap the tatters of the king. Very nice. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just get someone else. Thank you for being here, but thieving Thorbit, please be better. Please don't be camera line or anything like that. You're built to destroy. So you get more division, attack, defense. Uh, less defense, which is fine, whatever. Trade-off. Intelligent and agile. Thank you. Oh. Uh, let's see. What else do we want here? I definitely need more attack. Cultural advisors is pretty... It's kind of not worth doing. Yeah, I get plus 6% more uh, non-core manpower. Whatever. Over here, act output's going to be very, very important. Settlement builder, not bad. I want to build more civilian factories because they're going to come in handy quite a bit later on. Yeah, same thing. I'll do Freeman's Fixers, because that's very, very important in my mind. Hmm, that might be good to do as well. Vehicle companies, we'll wait. I might use a lot of APCs. I'm not sure yet. I'm really not sure. Chief of the Army, High Command. Brennan, Black Eye. Let's go get that population already. Even though I might have... Maybe Expel the Rift up might have been better. It's always a trade-off, you know. They have three divisions, so be it. We have... We need more infantry equipment and so spec ops equipment, which is fine. I know spec ops equipment is going to take a while to make, so that's totally okay. Infantry equipment, totally understandable. And I need a good res a good amount of extra demo equipment, just because I'm going to put a lot of demo dynamite pieces on our guys. That's extremely important. There's 14 combat, with, which isn't bad, but could be better. Psychers, I need these guys to be 10 combat with, at least. Which we'll get there soon enough. Soon enough. Carcass walkers were annexed. We're about to get paid. Anything else interesting? No. Focus on the internal sphere. I'm not going to hurt my war support. That's a bad idea. Construction. is barely going. Ah, melody so grand. So, a dark gift. The odious king has given us a gift for him. For giving him patronage. One of his gex. Although it has been corrupted and twisted by the ranks, it is still to be useful to us. A partially functioning gek. Which is actually really fun. Really, really, really cool. Because you can basically add to the forest. So, which is really cool. I think. At least I think that's cool. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Probably not. But maybe. Oh, dynamite. Please give me more dynamite. And how long do we have to wait now? Because over... They have three divisions still. They'll have at least four, maybe five divisions by the time we go to war with them. In a hundred days, we will strike at the Timberline. And they have four military factories now, which is the same amount that we have. Good. Oh, I now... As soon as we're ready to, you know, change one of our laws, I forget what I wanted to get. How do I forget this quickly? You know what? I'll expel the Rift Draft. I want that weekly stability. I want a ton of stability, because I'm thinking long term here, man. It's long, long, long term. And I'm only making one ship because manpower is so important. I will literally only one make make one ship to get naval speed that I will never use. And do not engage. You're here just for us to feel good about, you know, getting stuff. Basically, that's pretty much all you're there for. Uh, get some seed selection. Organize agriculture. That'll be important for more monthly population. Recruitable population factor by 0%. Plus a good 0%. Oh! We have eight factories now. Or, yeah, eight factories. What the heck? Where'd you come from? Twisted hair is very nice. So we are, are in South Oregon. Ah, oh, a dark gift. Now, I could do Pillars of Rome. That's okay. Let's do Pilgrims of the Steam. So, the Seraph Pilgrims are the Pilgrims of the Steam, caravanners who traveled across the Great River to live in our fertile land. Many of them were driven off by a rather restrictive lifestyle of Heaven's Gate, while others came here out of a want to convert us. Still, there is a value in their presence here, in which some of these places to get a little bit more manpower. Which is pretty good. So, oh, yeah, strategic navy map. Let's go down here. So we have a gek. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit is a device capable of radically altering the wasteland and transforming dead, irradiated soil into viable land suitable for farming. When deployed, a gek will collapse all matter within its given radius and recombine it to form a living, breathing, fertile, virgin mm, landscape and allow life to begin anew. So now we can choose out of one, two, three, four, five, six tiles where we want to put our gek. Crowhaven... Is already too developed for a gek. So, we can't do that there. Honestly, I've already checked. And I wanted to do the most manpower. 2,500, 2,500, almost 10,000. 2,500, 2,500, 2,500. So, only Croy Haven is the largest. So, I want to do the Sylvies. Just because it's 
we're kind of far away from the troll warren and we can probably pretty much deal with anyone down here probably so let's do the sylvies thank you deploy geck in the sylvie so i might get a total of minus 15 percent stability we might not get any stability hit at all but uh we get a bonus to construction agriculture two civilian workshops three infrastructure electricity and water which is amazing i love it i want more gecks give me those gecks it might be corrupted but geck me up Ah, uh, three divisions. They should soon have four. Oh, they might even have five. So how am I going to win against these guys? That's a good question. It's called encirclements. Iron Alliance. Wow, good job, Iron Alliance. I will let you know I am playing with the mod compilation for Old World Blues currently, and uh, that should go okay. Should go okay. Should. Nevertheless, we have five divisions. We should have s maybe seven by the time we go to war. Uh, not enough equipment to train. We need more guns. Not enough equipment or manpower. So we need 8 infantry equipment, 29 special forces. You know what? Focus more on this group. Put you lower for now, because all you need really is special forces equipment, pilgrims of the steam, partial steamworks integration, words of the wise. Stability, stability, stability. The pilgrims have, have spoken with a strange cadence, driven by their faith and their morals. They preach, and many of our ranks... Listen, not bad. I definitely want at least one of these divisions out before we uh, fight. Needs 51 infantry equipment. The faster we go to war, the better. They have at least four divisions here. So, good to keep in mind. Conventional warfare is great. More entrenchment speed, more max entrenchment. Battle plans, more max planning. Very good stuff. And we'll have that done soon. The words of the wise. 4320. Organized agriculture. Very good, very, very good. Let's grab a better reinforce rate. Or are we going to get paid soon? Yes, we are. Good. Come on, come on out, come on out. 25, 25. 17, 16. They have five divisions. We have five divisions. I need one of you guys to finish off right now. Come on. 13. By the time we go to war, we should have at least one more division. Yeah, we got about a month left. Less than a month, less than a month. Until we get into a little bit of action here. And the words of the wise. Very good. Pillars of the Rome sounds nice, but let's do partial steamworks integration. Thanks to the Seraph Pilgrims, we have learned how to partially reuse some of the old underground power lines, connecting us with the electrical grid coming out of the steam for a whole nether military factory. 59% stability. Nice. Escape slaves from metal drinkers. Uh, the tyranny is known across the wasteland, although they might justify slavery as a favor to primitives. We know that freedom is the right of every wastelander and have always looked down on with dismay. Early this morning, slaves crossed the border with male drinker forces in hot pursuit. Our troops met them at the border, and Ben Rowley is now demanding we turn over the slaves. What should we do? I'm not going to lose stability. I can't afford to lose any more stability right now. That's fine with me. And soon enough, we will have the followers of the apocalypse come and kind of screw things up for us. Awesome. Now you're going to go down to bottom, and you're going to take this too. Awesome. Now you're going to come back to the medium, and medium. Ah, six divisions. That's all we need, really. Probably. I don't know. See what happens. Uh, you guys come up to the front line. Jordan Valley, get up there. Come on. We will have a special forces division as well when we go to war. Which will be great. Which will be really, really great. And I definitely want more attack. That's going to be very helpful. And we're still mobilizing a little bit more population. Good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. And go to war. And like I said, we have a new division. I'm not using you, Carlton. Uh... Agile, and he's a bruiser. You get less speed, less planning speed, less max planning, but you get 50% more attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Commando, defense, recon. Actually, does special forces have recon? They don't. So that's kind of a waste. More attack, then. Reform the front line so everyone feels like they can contribute to the, to the war. And now you're a medium, medium. Awesome. Good stuff. And let you get situated wherever you need to be. Even though it really doesn't matter. And instantly we're going to go to war. Sacred land. They have up to five. Oh, they have five divisions. That's fine. I'm going to encircle and destroy. That's the game here. Oh, you instantly get attacked. You know what? Then you hold. We'll be fine. They have all their divisions literally on the front line with us. So, And if they're going to be busy doing th stuff like that... I will go ahead and do this. I will go ahead and yep, keep moving in. Ah, partial steamworks integration. Clerical militias. 
The Pilgrims have started to raise clerical militias in our land to help settlers fight off raiders and mutants trying to pass into Bone Dancer land. No, no, no. Um, I need more war support. I don't mind lowering my organization by a little bit to do that. So, weekly war support. Welcome aboard. Good. Keep them there. Keep them there. Keep them a little bit more encircled. You guys come down here. You stall these guys. And if you can, go to Greenhorn. Awesome. Just kill them off. Kill off that division. That's fine. Desert Rangers to clear war and vipers. Very good. And hopefully these guys don't move. Take Greenhorn. And instantly start attacking. So, you're busy there. You're busy there. You're busy there. We're going to start cleaning this area up just a little bit. Oh, that's not good. If you can get up there, that would be lovely. You're probably not going to make it in time, though. Yeah, you didn't. Darn it. That sucks. So, now we've got to clean these guys up, because now they're going to be starving for supplies. And that's important. You guys still might be able to win up here, though. Ah, oh, combat language. Good. Let's get some decryption. That'd be bueno. Oh, you actually won. Nice. Come over there and help kill that division off. Finish off that division so we can get rid of these guys, too. Awesome. You guys are okay. Keep them standing there. We've lost three guys versus 11. Not great yet, but in time, it'll be better. Just gotta pin these guys down for now. That's all it is. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, there's three divisions there. Holy cow. That's a lot of divisions. Come on, guys. You got this. Washington Brotherhood declared war on the cause. 12 factories. Very nice. Awesome. Frankly, take one guy. Just go up to Waloa. Waloa. Clerical militias. Nice. A thousand more manpower. It's always helpful. I want a gecko support. The pillar men near the pillars of Rome have become masters at training geckos as battle warriors. Perhaps we could purchase some of their trained geckos. Perhaps we can. Improvise tools. Very nice. Seed selection. Thank you very much. Help take these guys out. Or at least help hold them there. They have up to six divisions, maybe. We did encircle and destroy a few of them. Oh, they wanted to escape. They wanted to escape, but no, no, no. They're going to die there. Hopefully we don't encounter any other divisions up here. One. Oh, we lost that battle. So be it. Make sure they just can't get in there. Hopefully there's no division up here as we take the capital. Keep holding them there. Special forces. You're special for a reason. Even with no demo equipment, you're still special. Oh, god dang it. Come on. Now they're just messing with me. You guys are doing okay over here. We took it. Nice. Go ahead and come over here. Take all that territory. Next up. Encryption. Good stuff. Come on. These three divisions are taking forever to kill off. And good. Uh, take that division out so that they get no supply. Probably as long as they don't take that. Sylvies, please, for the love of God, don't take Sylvies. Or Jordan Valley. Nice, they died. We've lost 78 versus 751. Kind of a win so far. A little bit of a win. Cool. You guys come up here. Take Baila. Baila. Any one of you guys come over here as well. Go there. We've got a lot of enable XP already. Really liking it. You guys keep them engaged. Actually, yeah. So we're going to circle that division as well. Get down there, get down there. Awesome. Ah, train geckos. Now we're going to go get gecko support. And a new outlook. So, now that we've settled matters at home, we can look outward to matters of the wildlands. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Any other problems around here? 79 versus roughly 800. Happy 2276, my friends. That should be it. Grab a territory, declare war, and ripe roll territory, so be it. Boom. Circle done. Thank you for playing. Uh, next up, construction. Just go ahead and repair all this stuff. That's probably the most important thing to do. And we have 26 army XP. Our guys are pretty uh, well versed in warfare. You guys come down here. You guys come down here. Now, we have a little bit of demo equipment. Let's reassess this. You guys come up here. That's actually fairly balanced. I kind of like it like that. So, guys, Bone Shakers, welcome to Demo Land. You're going to need 20 pieces each. That's going to be important. And then you guys, ooh, can I throw on another Special Forces? That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. 
Bone Shakers. Uh, I can throw another infantry thing on you. Make you even tougher. Good. Because that's all the stockpile that we have. Now we don't have any. That's okay. We have 15 factories. We'll be able to make that stuff soon enough. Vipers were annexed. And as you can tell, I, I kind of want to go to War with Shoshone next. And how many divisions do they have? They have up to seven. We have seven. They have up to seven. It'll be interesting to see what happens. With, especially with the new outlook done. We're going to get more attack, which would be great. I still want more stability. Can we, we can't get more stability, can we? Well, I can use my civilian factories, but I kind of need them right now. So, instead, we're going to do something else. What are we going to do? Build stuff up. Military high command. Uh, just the world goal sign that was okay. Don't really need it right now. More attack. Just flat out more attack. Construction repairing stuff is incredibly important to do. Hmm. Honestly, probably need more dynamite than anything else. Because once this is done, we'll be okay. Because it's not so, so important that we make spec ops equipment right now. But definitely infantry equipment and demo companies because everyone uses that stuff. Ah, new outlook. Pretty good. So, next we'll do old rivals. So the Bone Dancers have always had some old rivals. Perhaps now would be a good chance to deal with them. And get even more war support. And more political power right now. What do we want? Stability. Stability for the people. Chief of the Army. Hmm. More entrenchment is always nice. We could use uh, drugs. Not interested, though. Not really. Economic advisors. These guys are okay. You know what? I'll go with a slave flogger. Just because I want that output. I don't care about the resources right now, but... That output... Oh, drugs! I love the drugs. Yeah. More infantry equipment. Good. Good, 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 good. You know what? Do this for now, since we need it. Secret language. Awesome. Get a resistor, because we need more research speed. We got seed selection. Awesome. Get some more construction speed. And then we'll get some more output after uh, one of these two is done, because we've got to keep going with our land doctrine. Let's see. Anything else? Aegis Clare War and Ruby Valley Refuge. We'll see what happens with them in the future. Still cannibals. We have Odysseus King, and we have Seraph Pilgrims, which helps our stability for now. And, actually, Sylvie's, uh, you're a desert, but you're a part of the forest. Hmm. It's kind of odd. It's kind of, honestly, pretty odd. A lot of war support, but we're doing really well. Well, let's do one more focus, and then we'll call it, it an episode. Good, make more dynamite. That's the bread and butter of our military. More defense and organization? I think that's great. I think that's awesome. So far, we have not had any contact with um, the followers of the apocalypse yet. Hmm. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and... Ooh, actually, how many divisions does the Kimmel Station have? Oh, uh, they have up to 12. These guys have, have up to 9. That's fine. The Shoshone Disgrace. The Shoshone were exiled out of their old home ages ago, settling in some of our former territory along the coast. We need to reclaim this land and drive the Shoshone off. Absolutely. But that's all the time for that we have today, my friends. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we go to war with Shoshone, and possibly even Kamalt Station. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.